what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we're gonna be talking about the great value jeepers creepers the six member of the sinister six <laughs> these new images that came out of the creeper they were leaked honestly i'll say they were leaked by this i believe it's like a new england type of youtube channel i think that's the name of it i'll leave a link to it down in the description but as you see on your screen, this apparently is supposed to be one of the Jeepers Creepers stunt doubles in Jeepers Creepers Reborn. So you're getting a good look at the makeup here. Uh, slightly good look because honestly, the the way he looks, he, he does look like a lizard. I, I'll say that. <laughs> the, the makeup though, it's not that it's overly bad. It's just like, it's not... It, this is completely different than any of the the versions of the creeper iterations we've seen in the other three films now you have to keep in mind of course that's not jonathan breck the makeup doesn't look look bad i'll say but it just you know I, I, i've seen you guys comments it, it takes you out of maybe having any type of excitement for this movie uh here's some other images of him he just he doesn't look bad it's just like I, I'm pretty sure they're going to have a lot of CGI to probably fill in a lot of the things that are missing here to make him resemble Jonathan Breck, Jonathan Breck's iteration of the creeper as much as they can. What this also could have to do with how he looks could just be because of the fact that, you know, he's he's just waking up. He has been skinning bones for over two decades and he's he's rebuilding himself back up. And this is like just a slow progression to him getting back to what he originally looked like because if i'm being honest these pictures they look nothing like in, to me anyway they don't look anything like this image here where you have timo sitting down looking not looking but giving his the interview he has and then the uh face prosthetics behind him they look a little different almost as if the creeper is going to have a lot of different facial changes throughout the progression of the fourth film almost as if it has to do with him eating and rebuilding up what he once was 23 years ago prior to him being nothing but skin and bones which i'm all down for if they have some type of rationalization as to why he might be looking differently throughout the film i'm gonna guess it has to do with the fact that he's just waking up and he's rebuilding himself back up because the problem with the cathedral script was that the creeper he really was just he had his wings back and he kind of was just whole again they didn't really go into details as to how he got like that he just like basically left behind a carcass in the taggart barn and then that was it he had his wings back as we know in jeepers creepers 2 that doesn't even really make any sense because his wings were cut off so how did he get his wings back i don't even know if they'll even explain that in jeepers creepers 4 because keep in mind like i said he had his wings cut off they his wings were basically stitched to him by the end of the second film in that barn they were just stitched back to him same thing with his leg there's a lot of stuff that i'm curious to see how this movie will address it because in the cathedral script while that script in its own was decent enough they don't address those things he's he's just back he's back to full health he has his wings again it's never really explained but like i was saying before that also doesn't look like that face prosthetics that were behind timo in the interview he was has they, they just look different i'm pretty sure what will happen is they'll have a lot of cgi vfx put onto this thing to kind of fill in a lot of the other stuff that might make him look a little bit more resembling of jonathan brick and i'll leave a link to that youtube channel again down in the down in the description so you guys can look at these videos that they've posted they've posted things about the creeper in his truck crashing it we now know that 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 crash scene that i made a video about months ago where someone was who we thought was a random person someone was driving the creeper truck they crashed it there's an explosion this video kind of extends on that it's now showing what's happening after that crash the person getting out of the truck is the creeper himself so the creeper himself crashes his own truck at some point during the film and he just he gets out of it walking i i think what might happen during that scene is they think he's dead for whatever reason or another but then he just gets out of it walking tall and walking strongly towards his targets the actor who plays him that I went over in the other video, he seems to be over six feet tall. So I don't think we have anything to worry about there as it pertains to him being shorter than Jonathan Brick. A lot of you are still hoping that Jonathan Brick will be featured in this movie somehow. Hope as much as you want to. I'm done hoping. I don't think he's in it. Don't think he's in it. I think this Benjamin dude, I hope he does a great job. I think he's our new creeper through and through. I just want to see now a full trailer so we can hopefully get a better look at this makeup because a lot of you are making jokes he's a great value creeper he looks 
He looks terrible. He looks like Lizard. Looks like he's finishing out the Sinister Six for the upcoming Spider-Man No Way Home. A lot of jokes. I appreciate the comedy. Appreciate the laugh. I don't think the makeup honestly looks that bad. I think what the issue is is that this makeup could have been better in terms of maybe creating a creeper identity. But again, keep in mind, there's bound to be some dialogue, I would hope, that would rationalize to us why he kind of looks so different by just a, a simple throwaway line or two explaining that he just woke up he doesn't look himself and that's because of the fact that he just woke up i would love some throwaway lines like that china just like poke fun at themselves too because they are clearly this clearly is a new actor but china just have fun with it just kind of reference why does he look like that why does he look like a lizard man <laughs> but I'm pretty sure they'll have some VFX, some other things that'll fill it in. Some CGI. Clearly a lot more smoother from what I saw. He looks a lot more smoother. The wrinkles are not... Doesn't have as many wrinkles. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. I, honestly, we need a trailer. We need a trailer to see how this will come out on screen. And how uh, Mr. Benjamin, I believe his first name was Jeru, Jaru Benjamin, will handle this portrayal of the creeper this iteration of the creeper and what he has to bring to the table that is going to be rivaling what jonathan brett brought us in the first three installments so you guys wanted me to do a video i put up a poll earlier to talk about this guy and not talk about benjamin but just talk about this creeper makeup people were saying this is a stunt double i'm well aware that this the video of this said it was a stunt double but I just want to also point out, if you look up any Jeepers Creepers behind the scenes videos, the stunt doubles for Jonathan Breck, the makeup resembles exactly what, not exactly, but they're very reminiscent and very much close to how Jonathan Breck's makeup looks. So even if this is a stunt double, this is what we should expect uh, Ja Rule Benjamin to look like when he's in his makeup. This is what we should expect him to look like, something if not on the same par as what we see here, if that's not him already. Because the makeup for Jonathan Breck with his stunt doubles were identical almost i'm not saying that that's not that that's going to be the case here but just keep that in mind let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss the video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video